So all in all, we will be able to figure out uh, some of the anomalies of Free Atlas uh, on the 22nd of January. And we should not take it uh, for granted because it may be decades before we have another object that is aligned so perfectly with the Earth-Sun axis. I'm so looking... that's one paper from today. But then the second one I should mention is uh, based on data from the Hubble Space Telescope that was taken. Mm -hmm. There were a, a large number, 17 images taken uh, between uh, November 30th and uh, December 27th by the Hubble Space Telescope and they were shared publicly and uh, we were able to analyze them and notice that uh, the jet coming from the object, that there are two jets, there is a prominent one towards the sun and a smaller one away from the sun and this jet structure seems to wobble uh, over 7.2 uh, hours basically wobbles around the rotation axis of the object just like the light beam from um, uh, when you look at the lighthouse, uh, as it rotates, as it spins, the light beam is moving along a cone. And in the same way, the jets that are presumably launched from near the pole of the rotation axis are uh, uh, wobbling in the sky. Uh, and we can measure the rotation period of uh, ab about 7.2 or 7.1 hours. And we also measure the same rotation period from the brightness variations of the object. So when the jets are moving around, the brightness of the object changes. Uh, and uh, we notice exactly the same period. So this is a second paper where the brightness we, we monitored from a, a telescope on Earth. So the Hubble Space Telescope data and ground-based data seem to agree on the rotation period after perihelion, after the object passed near the sun. This is the first report on the rotation of 3i Atlas. In January 2026, observations by the Hubble Space Telescope revealed an unexpected jet geometry surrounding 3I Atlas, one that departs markedly from standard cometary behavior. Rather than displaying an irregular plume shaped primarily by solar heating and rotation, the object exhibited a highly ordered structure, a narrow, well-collimated jet directed toward the sun, accompanied by three secondary jets spaced at roughly equal angular intervals. The resulting symmetry is uncommon in known comets and suggests a level of geometric stability that is difficult to attribute to stochastic outgassing alone. 3I Atlas is only the third interstellar object ever observed traversing the solar system, yet its behavior has diverged sharply from expectations established by earlier detections. Such objects are generally assumed to resemble ordinary comets or asteroids, bodies shaped by largely random physical processes in other stellar environments. Instead, 3I Atlas has repeatedly displayed structured and persistent features that resist simple classification. The high-resolution Hubble images obtained on January 14, 2026 brought these discrepancies into particularly sharp focus, intensifying questions about the physical mechanisms governing its activity. The images were captured using Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3, with multiple exposures taken over a short time window. At first glance, the raw data looked unremarkable, a bright nucleus surrounded by a diffuse coma of gas and dust. But raw images often hide structure. To reveal what lay beneath, researchers applied a larsen seconina rotational gradient filter, a standard technique designed to remove symmetric brightness and expose asymmetries caused by jets and localized activity. What emerged after processing was startling. A single, sharply collimated jet extended directly toward the sun, a so-called anti-tail. In cometary physics, this is counterintuitive. Solar radiation pressure pushes dust away from the sun, and sublimation-driven jets usually emerge from sunlit regions and then curve anti-solar as particles are swept backward. A sunward-pointing jet can exist under certain geometric conditions, but it is usually faint, transient, and highly sensitive to viewing angle. This one was none of those things. It was narrow, bright, and persistent. Even more unsettling were the three additional jets surrounding the nucleus. They were smaller, but clearly defined, and they appeared separated by roughly 120 degrees from one another, forming a near-perfect triadic symmetry. None of these secondary jets pointed in the expected anti-solar direction. Instead, they seemed arranged around the object as if anchored to fixed emission sites that ignored the dominant influence of sunlight. Cometary jets are usually messy, 
They vary in brightness, shift with rotation, and flare unpredictably as volatile pockets are exposed. Symmetry does occur, but it is typically linked to rapid rotation or coincidental alignment. Here, the symmetry was stable. The jets maintained their relative spacing across multiple exposures even as the object rotated. This suggested that whatever mechanism was producing them was either deeply embedded or fundamentally different from standard surface sublimation. As astronomers examined the images more closely, another oddity became apparent. The jet system appeared to wobble, but only slightly. By comparing these observations with earlier Hubble images from December 2025, researchers inferred a rotation period of about seven hours. Over the roughly half-hour span of the January 14 imaging sequence, the jet orientation should have shifted noticeably if it were tied to surface features rotating in and out of sunlight. Instead, the change was minimal, on the order of a few degrees, implying that the dominant jet was closely aligned with the rotation axis itself. That alignment raised immediate questions. For a natural comet, having a rotation axis pointing nearly directly at the Sun is statistically unlikely, but not impossible. However, maintaining that alignment over time, especially as the object approached and passed perihelion, pushes against probability. Solar torques, uneven outgassing, and gravitational interactions all tend to alter spin states, yet 3I Atlas appeared stubbornly stable. The true shock came after perihelion. As the object swung around the Sun, its trajectory was deflected by about 16 degrees due to solar gravity. This is a normal and well-understood consequence of orbital mechanics. What is not normal is what happened to the sunward jet. It did not swing with the trajectory. It did not realign relative to the object's new velocity vector. Instead, it continued to point toward the sun, as if locked onto it. From a physical standpoint, this is deeply problematic. If the jet were simply material being expelled from a fixed region on the nucleus, its apparent direction should change as the object's path bends. Maintaining a sunward orientation before and after such a significant deflection implies either a remarkable coincidence or a mechanism that actively maintains alignment with the sun. The geometry becomes even more unsettling when considering scale. The opening angle of the sunward jet was measured to be about 8 degrees. The gravitational deflection at perihelion was roughly twice that. The odds that a naturally collimated jet would remain within such tight constraints through that maneuver are extremely small. In simple terms, the jet behaved as though it knew where the sun was, independent of the object's changing motion. Attempts to explain this through standard comet physics quickly encounter difficulties. One proposal is that the jet originates from the object's night side, driven by heat conducted through an insulating layer. But for such a jet to remain active for months, remain tightly collimated, and ignore dramatic changes in solar illumination would require material properties unlike those observed in known comets. Thermal models struggle to keep subsurface volatiles active without direct heating, especially in an interstellar object that has likely spent millions or billions of years in deep space. Rotation-based explanations fare no better. If the jet were tied to a polar region aligned with the sun, small torques should gradually shift that alignment. Instead, the geometry remained stubbornly intact. The three secondary jets add another layer of complexity. Their even spacing suggests either a highly regular internal structure or a process that naturally favors triadic symmetry, neither of which is common in small, irregular bodies. When these jet-related anomalies are placed in the broader context of 3I Atlas, the pattern becomes harder to dismiss. The object follows a retrograde orbit that is closely aligned with the plane of the solar system, an orientation that is statistically rare for an interstellar interloper. Its arrival timing placed it near Mars and Jupiter, while simultaneously hiding it behind the Sun at perihelion, limiting early observations. Each of these features alone could be dismissed as coincidence. Together, they form a pattern of improbability. Spectroscopic measurements introduced an additional layer of complexity to the interpretation of 3I Atlas. Analysis of its gaseous emissions revealed an unusually high abundance of nickel relative to iron, a ratio that departs significantly from what is observed in typical comets. Even more striking was the scarcity of water. In conventional cometary models, water ice is the dominant volatile, driving activity as it sublimates under solar heating and carries dust into space. 
For 3i Atlas, however, water accounted for only a small fraction of the detected gas. This compositional imbalance challenges the assumption that familiar ice-driven processes are responsible for the object's activity and raises the possibility that an alternative mechanism, either involving atypical materials or an unconventional energy source, is at work. Polarization measurements further deepened the mystery. Observations show that the coma of 3i Atlas exhibits exceptionally strong negative polarization at small phase angles, exceeding the values typically measured for known comets. Polarization is a sensitive diagnostic influenced by the size, structure, and composition of dust grains. Extreme negative polarization generally points to particles that are larger, more compact, or more reflective than those commonly found in cometary comae. Such properties imply a dust population unlike the fluffy, porous aggregates expected from sublimating ice. While certain surface or dust configurations could theoretically produce these signals, they remain difficult to reconcile with the standard picture of a volatile-rich, naturally evolving comet. Under these conditions, faint jets, fine dust structures, and subtle asymmetries that are normally lost in glare can become significantly more pronounced. For 3i Atlas, this geometry places the persistent sunward jet nearly along the line of sight, maximizing sensitivity to its collimation, stability, and particle properties. If the same ordered jet configuration remains intact during this alignment, despite the dramatically altered viewing geometry, it would place even tighter constraints on conventional explanations and sharply limit the range of physical models capable of reproducing the observations. At present, the Hubble images serve as a precise and unsettling record of behavior that was not anticipated by existing cometary frameworks. Each observation adds detail, but also compounds the difficulty of interpretation. While it remains possible that the underlying cause lies in an exotic yet natural combination of material composition, internal structure, and thermal response, such explanations increasingly require fine-tuning and assumptions that stretch beyond what is observed in known comet populations. Alternative interpretations, though more speculative, persist largely because the data resist simpler answers. What is beyond dispute is that 3i Atlas is not a passive interstellar relic drifting harmlessly through the solar system. Its geometry, composition, and dynamical behavior actively challenge prevailing assumptions about how small bodies form, evolve, and interact with stellar radiation. In doing so, it functions less as a curiosity and more as a stress test for planetary science itself. Forcing researchers to confront the possibility that interstellar objects may obey physical rules, histories, or constraints that are only partially captured by models built from solar system experience alone. Sometimes, discovery does not arrive as a revelation, but as a geometric inconvenience, an angle that refuses to line up, a jet that will not bend. In the case of 3i Atlas, that inconvenience is written plainly in dust and light, captured by Hubble, waiting for an explanation that fits as cleanly as the symmetry it reveals. The object's brightness evolution added yet another inconsistency. As 3i Atlas approached the Sun, it brightened at a rate exceeding that of any previously observed comet, a rise that would normally suggest fragmentation, rapid mass loss, or a major outburst. Yet no clear evidence of breakup or debris clouds was detected. Instead, the nucleus appeared to remain intact, with its jet structure maintaining coherence and orientation throughout the brightening phase. Compounding this anomaly, the object displayed an unusually blue color, in some measurements appearing bluer than the sun itself, an uncommon trait for cometary bodies, which typically redden due to dust scattering. Together, the rapid brightening, anomalous color, and structural stability point to behavior that does not fit comfortably within existing cometary frameworks, reinforcing the broader sense that 3i Atlas is governed by physical conditions unlike those of known solar system comets. Perhaps most troubling is the non-gravitational acceleration inferred from its motion. Comets often experience small deviations due to outgassing, but in this case, the acceleration appeared stronger than expected given the measured gas output. Reconciling the dynamics with the observed mass loss requires either extremely efficient jetting or an additional force that is yet to be identified. None of these anomalies, taken individually, prove anything extraordinary. Astronomy is full of odd objects that eventually find natural explanations, 
but science also progresses by recognizing when explanations become increasingly strained. The jet geometry seen in the January 14 Hubble images is not just another curiosity, it is the most visually compelling manifestation of a deeper problem. Geometry is hard to fake. Random processes rarely produce clean symmetry, persistent alignment, and stability across dramatic dynamical changes. This is why the images linger in the mind. A sunward jet that refuses to turn, three evenly spaced companions that ignore the sun's push, and a structure that survives perihelion unperturbed, these are not the hallmarks of a typical comet. They force astronomers to confront uncomfortable questions about how well current models apply to objects formed in entirely different stellar environments. The forthcoming Earth-Sun 3I Atlas alignment, characterized by an exceptionally tight near-opposition geometry, represents a rare observational opportunity and possibly the most decisive test yet of the object's unusual behavior. When Earth lies almost directly between the Sun and a small body, the scattering of sunlight by dust particles is strongly enhanced, producing what is known as an opposition surge. Under these conditions, faint jets, fine dust structures, and subtle asymmetries that are normally lost in glare can become significantly more pronounced. For 3I Atlas, this geometry places the persistent sunward jet nearly along the line of sight, maximizing sensitivity to its collimation, stability, and particle properties. If the same ordered jet configuration remains intact during this alignment, despite the dramatically altered viewing geometry, it would place even tighter constraints on conventional explanations and sharply limit the range of physical models capable of reproducing the observations. At present, the Hubble images serve as a precise and unsettling record of behavior that was not anticipated by existing cometary frameworks. Each observation adds detail, but also compounds the difficulty of interpretation. While it remains possible that the underlying cause lies in an exotic yet natural combination of material composition, internal structure, and thermal response, such explanations increasingly require fine-tuning and assumptions that stretch beyond what is observed in known comet populations. Alternative interpretations, though more speculative, persist largely because the data resist simpler answers. What is beyond dispute is that 3I Atlas is not a passive interstellar relic drifting harmlessly through the solar system. Its geometry, composition, and dynamical behavior actively challenge prevailing assumptions about how small bodies form, evolve, and interact with stellar radiation. In doing so, it functions less as a curiosity and more as a stress test for planetary science itself forcing researchers to confront the possibility that interstellar objects may obey physical rules, histories, or constraints that are only partially captured by models built from solar system experience alone. Sometimes, discovery does not arrive as a revelation, but as a geometric inconvenience, an angle that refuses to line up, a jet that will not bend. In the case of 3I Atlas, that inconvenience is written plainly in dust and light, captured by Hubble waiting for an explanation that fits as cleanly as the symmetry it reveals.